All right. I've been thinking about how to best deal with this army. And it seems to me they only have one really strong unit of horsemen. Uh, I have two horse units, but my bodyguards are actually not as strong uh, as the ones around me. You may have noticed they're just kind of, the horses aren't, are hardly armored at all. And the guys are just wearing basic lamellar and they carry just a plain old spear instead of a lance. So they're not very good in terms of general's bodyguards go, but they're capable enough. They're, they're in the Lithuanian kind of light cavalry style. Uh, anyway, I have one unit of these Baltic spearmen, and I think that should be enough to deal with these Christ Knights, as long as I keep them occupied with those spearmen. And I'm not too worried about uh, these lighter cavalry guys. I mean, although maybe I should be, because their stats are pretty darn high. But how's their charge? 9, 12... Well, maybe I should be worried about these guys. Good grief. But I think my uh, general's bodyguard can deal with these light guys regardless. With the uh, faction leader of the Teutonic Order away on a crusade, we saw him down here. He's marching away. With this army completely destroyed and knowing that this is the only other big army of theirs that we've seen so far, I think if we wipe these out, we could potentially march straight on to Riga. I usually march on Riga first. Or, you never know, we could march on the capital. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter which we march on. I'll just march on Riga since it's closer to Vilnius and it'll be less way to walk than all the way over to Palanga. Palanga. All right. I'm going to go ahead and build a leather tanner. I'm going to... Oh. Looks like I've lost a unit there. Of those uh, followers of Perkinus. So I'm going to go ahead and disband these guys to save the manpower. Then, I, why not? I'm just going to go ahead and disband these axemen as well. Because I'm going to need some money if I'm going to march on them. I think it's about time for this guy to prove himself in battle. I'm going to let him command... Well, actually, I'm going to march the entire army out because I need both these general bodyguards to win this fight. Oh, by the way, if you were interested... Yeah, that guy gained plus one command for that battle. Uh, a wealth tax has been ordered because my funds are going down the drain. That's kind of a, another mechanic that'll help because the nobles have their own money. You can tax them uh, when you don't have enough money. Your faction leader will tax them immediately. You might notice this... Uh, potential range is very low that's because the faction leaders carrying the resupply train which makes them move slow as a snail but we have enough movement points to deal with this army right outside our walls so let's go ahead and dislodge this enemy he'll probably stand and fight us yes indeed all right Time for the battle of, uh, well, I don't know what to call this battle, really. I guess we could call it Battle of Vilnius, since it's taking place right outside the city. I feel like there may be quite a few sieges of these cities in the future, so I don't necessarily want to just label one, like the very first one we do, as the siege of, you know... Harodin or Vilnius or wherever. Okay, followers of Perkinus. They make pretty decent infantry. I'm actually going to put my archers in front, I think. Spread them out a little. Put them off guard mode. 
put these uh, javelin guys. Maybe I should have put the javelins in front, actually. Yes, I think I'll do that. Fine. Javelins in front. Archers in the rear. I'm just going to pile on my axemen. I'll put them on one of my flanks. Then I'll put both my general's bodyguards on the other. And just in case uh, they get any clever ideas, I'm putting my uh, Baltic Spearmen right there. So let's go ahead and start the battle. All right, looks like he's just going to camp in the woods. Fine, speed up. Keep marching forward. This is a pretty big army of mine. Uh, there's a chance things could go bad. But if I don't attack at all, and I just give all the initiative away to the Teutonic Order, then they're just going to build another army. They're going to march it on me, and they're going to attack me with it. And you never know when one of these sieges goes bad. Because last time, I, maybe I was trying to be a bit too cinematic, getting good uh, views of, close-up views of, like, the fighting going on. And uh, they actually took me by surprise in a few places. Like, I had no idea even that they had guys up on the walls in one place because I wasn't observant in that regard. So, they took me by surprise, and that could have been very bad for me if I had not had the right unit in the right place at that time. Also, uh, I got very lucky because I was able to set their ram on fire. Okay, looks like they're coming in. Or they're shifting their army or doing something. I'm trying to figure it out. It's hard to figure out what they're doing though because... They're just, they're hidden by the flipping trees, and I have my uh, camera locked to my army, because I find that, I think that's a bit more realistic. I mean, it's fine by me if they want to fight in the woods, because if they do, then I think they're going to uh, lose out on some of the power of their cavalry. Oh, 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 oh. Horsemen, defend me. Oh, they're just horse archers. Alright, send my horsemen back. They're not going to catch those guys. Actually, you know what? Stand and fight. If they were to just charge in, I would actually... Uh, that would actually be very bad for me, but... Um, looks like they're not intelligent enough to do that. Oh, but they are intelligent enough to send their whole army down on me. Oh, no, 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 no. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh no! They got a charge in! You know what? Just expel these guys. Get them out of here. I'm, I'm tired of having to deal... Oh no, and they're gonna get another charge on! Oh, this is very bad. Get my faction leader out of there! Get out! Get out! Get out! What are you doing? I ordered you to run! And I meant it! winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right. 
All right, this can still be salvaged. Get the Baltic Spearmen out of there. Overwhelm those swordsmen. Right, I, uh... Looks like I misplayed a little bit. I really needed to... What are you guys doing? Get back. Good grief. It's You can't find good help these days. Looks like I'm running over the timer a little bit. I really ought to have spread these guys out a little more. Deal with those. Deal with the Christ Knights. Charge in. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes. All right, they're breaking, they're breaking. Charge everything. Route them completely and utterly. Oh, I took a lot of losses unnecessarily there, perhaps. See, I underestimated these cavalry, and I'm taking huge okay, losses the because of it. The enemy, the enemy army runs. We must pursue and hunt them down. Flippin' horsemen. Good grief. Okay, I'm just gonna end the battle. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. In the game of attrition, I'm gonna lose if I keep taking losses like this. Anyway, I'm gonna call the video here because I've been on the battlefield for a while now. Ransom these suckers too. And oh, my relations worsened? I'm so shocked! Well, maybe you shouldn't have attacked, buddy. Now then, before I lose manpower when these units get merged, disband those axemen so I get that back. My lord. Go ahead and merge those two units. Disband. Then I'm going to... Oh, disband these guys, definitely. Merge with them, my lord. with them, Orders, my with king. them, yes. and with them, then disband that unit. My lord. Yes. And now I'm going to have to rebuild my force a little bit. I'm actually going to put the resupply train in this guy so that he'll take the supplies from there, then I'll put them back with my faction leader, and he'll pay the money to refill the supplies. Faction leader gets the most money, so that'll be perfectly fine. So next time, I'm going to recruit some more units, get my numbers up, and we are going to attempt to take the Teutonic city of Riga. See you then, guys. Bye.